Hey, good day and welcome back. Um, we've got a bit of good news and a bit of bad news, I guess, today. Um, so they've told us it seems cancelled, so uh, yeah, we're just going to keep going with this baby. We're going to have it done by the time Seema is on, and hopefully, uh, hopefully we might be able to do some sort of an unveiling for it. Uh, but anyway, we'll keep going, and who knows, we might build a, another car or a bike or something that we can add to this one and take them both to Seema next year. So we'll see what happens. But uh, so the good news is I actually painted all inside of here and um, I'm getting to, to do the fitting of, of a lot of these components that are inside the skin to make it easier um, to access before I actually put the outer skin on. So you can see we're running, running the air suspension um, actuators here now. So we're running air in and we're running sensors. And then what I'm doing, instead of running, normally with uh, air suspension, you, you, know, you need a gauge to see to see what your air pressures are. And, and because we're running eight bags, we, we would have to end up with at least four double gauges. So what I'm doing with it is it's, uh, I'm gonna use uh, these tire pressure monitor systems. And what they are is these actually go on a, uh, on a Schrader valve. So we can just put these onto a Schrader valve and each one has its own individual um, code. And then what I can actually do is um, access the code on a uh, on an app like this once we put it in and what that'll do is that'll actually show each each um, bag pressure plus the temperature of the bag the temperature is not that important but it'll this will actually run uh, four monitors but because we've got eight bags I can actually add another car to it so that means that we're, I can just flip from one screen to the other and we can have um, Bluetooth monitored uh, pressure for for the eight individual bags um, it's just something else I want to do to try and keep the, the inside of the car nice and clean and not cluttered up with gauges. Um, last week we were talking about, we're doing some, um, some, some casting. So this is, this is a sample that we got back. This is actually stainless steel. Um, the whole process you've got to ask Tom about, but, um, but this is actually a stainless steel product and I just, I just hit it up on the, uh, on the buffing wheel there and it, uh, it looks almost hand hammered finished so we're going to play around with that a little bit more and we'll see what we can come up with next week um, we're going to try a, a aluminium mesh on it the same the same casting um, during the week and see if we can get a little bit more shine out of it so um, seam is off but yeah we're still rolling so we'll, like I said we'll try and get a party or something organized for the unveiling of this car and, and you know I've got a few ideas with doing a motorcycle and, and maybe another car so we'll get it all going for seam so um, Call in next week and see what's going on here. See you later. Yeah, every week we've been trying to show you different tools that we use. This this here is actually a uh, uh, three roller um, roll bender. You'll, you'll notice on the car that I'm building, there's a lot of different radiuses and stuff like that. The the way that we get these radiuses is basically you'll see this this a roller on each side and then a press down roller in the middle. And what you do is you actually put some pressure on this and roll it and then you can get whatever radius you want. It's, it's good for lock, for big radius uh, bending. You can, you can do uh, square section in it, you can do tube in it, you can do whatever. So basically the process is just keep adding pressure until you get the, the radius that you want on the, the job. Um, you can go, here's another piece that we've already bent. This is a little piece of tube. But as you can see, that's, that's how we get a lot of these, a lot of these different radiuses that I've got on this, this car is by just doing different bends, um, winding it down, just changing the pressure on it and just making whatever radius you want. You can actually use that and you can do full circles and everything with it. Whereas if you use just a, a normal tube bender, um, you're limited with the, the diameter of the die that you use um, and it, it'll only bend like a, t a tight curve. Um, we've got a tube bender here, so we'll actually run through that on uh, another week. But yeah, so that's a, a three roller radius bender so uh so yeah that's one of the tools that we use we'll keep you uh keep showing you different tools we use each week